Hi everybody, it's Bonkai 922 here. Okay. Fairy tale chapter. Words cannot describe the amount of do I say horror? Horror of what occurred in this fairy tale. But yeah, let's get into it. I have it right here in front of me. Okay, Grand Magic Games Day 4, 293, Chapter Fairy Tale, The Perfume Dedicated to You. Okay, so Tag Battle for Pegasus, Ichiya san, and Rabbit against Bakchus and Rocker. Rocker was in the, um, Ridiculous, stupid, him in the water. I'm like, all right, moving right along. Uh, he's telling, uh, you know, he's Rock is telling Bachus, let's go wild. He says, oh, that's all, it doesn't all matter as long as we're trolling, so we'll be fine. And then, she says, it's finally time to release you. It's finally time to show everybody who you are. And, uh, and Tappy's like saying to Panther, oh, I wonder who he is. And then we see Jenny. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, Jenny, and I think it's, um. What's his face? Kissing? I guess they're boyfriend and girlfriend. Anyway. Um. It's fine. Show everyone that handsome face of yours. Next page. I just said. I just screamed my lungs out when I saw this page. Okay, and I just saw, and I just saw Joe Ten's review, and he's just like saying it wasn't funny at all. This goes in the category of, it's so stupid, so stupid. I shouldn't even be reviewing this part of the chapter, I really shouldn't be, because it's so stupid, it's so stupid. Who's the person? The cat. That looks like Ichia from Edelos. Really, hero? That's what you're gonna do? Right. The Ichia son cat lookalike. And Red Gray says that guy, he was from Extalia. That Extalia is the world of where the, the um, Xyz live in. So then he call and then he repetitively saying. Nietzsche. Really? This is where we're going to go with this hero. Total fail. Total trolling. Trolling at its best. This was a trolling fight. That's right. And he says, double Ackman attack. It's a dangerous perfume, all right. He's like... What, what, what is the point? And he gets seen with Urza. And she says, Achia became two people. And then uh, God just says, hey, pull yourself together. <laughs> like, no. Oh, hero, why? Uh, I digress. Okay. And, and then she says, yo, this must be destiny on that clear afternoon. And it's just, why? It's so painful to look at. And I clapped. I clapped. Thank you, Bacchus. I clapped when he hit that cat. And he went, meow. Please. Please don't do that, hero. And he hits him, and he falls. He says, and, 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 uh, <laughs> I forgot who it was. Um. Uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, one of the guys from Blue Pegasus, I forgot their names, uh, says, she was like, can that guy really fight? Of course he can. He has the same face as me. And I'm like, God damn it, hero! Why are you making him fight like this? He's kicking the bucket. He just got hit. He's done. He's done. And she's, and she's like, no way! This fight was so stupid. And then Bacchus says, we'll quit messing around. And he goes, 
uh, I think Rocker, he does his drill rock for you. <laughs> Turns around and hits him. Wait a sec, guys. And he hits a Chia San. Um, and then, uh, uh, Bocce's does a real cool move. Drunken hanging, palm, boom, down. Boom! Knocks him down! It's the move I think he used against Elfman. We ran along. Uh, and he's like, this is the end. Eat this. Uh, and he says, and then he's like saying, I tried doing to this without even knowing what kind of you cannot fight, you know, so and so forth. Time with me. How handsome that is. And guess what happens? Guess what happens? Oh, I'm not allowing your thoughts to be wasted. Being handsome is justice. Let me dedicate this perfume called Victory. This kid. He uses, I think, the perfume power. This is my beautiful dreamer. Hey. He says, whole hang me? I can't even pronounce that, what he said. I'm sorry about that. And he wins the match! I'm sorry, I'm screaming. He beats... I'm done. I am done. This is what it's about. This is what everyone wants to see. And that's what happened towards the end of this chapter. Maybe I should just skip this whole part. Smash, they're down. Quattro Punch Me is down. It's finished. End of match. This is stupid fight. What horseshit. That's so stupid. And he got Jenny on the sidelines. She's like, so cool. So stupid, Jenny. Okay. It was not even worth my time to show you what happened. It was stupid. Oh, moving right along. Moving right along from that fight. That fight was just, oh, God. Um, Lime and Scale. Yuka and Leon against Kagra and Miliana. Now, this fight ended in a draw. I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed it's ended in a draw. It was went into 30 minutes, and we got Yuka saying, as expected of Kagra, so strong. I don't, and then Yuka, and then uh, Leon saying, you know, I don't think she was using her strength yet. Every year it's the same. No one has ever seen her get serious. And then Cogger is saying that man named Leon has potential. If this wasn't a match but a fight to the death, she says, you would be dead, me, Leona. Become stronger. And then she says, got it. And then, of course, we're, we're then after that fight's over, we get straight in. Straight into the big, big, big den. Heated arena. Fairy tale. And we everyone knows what's going down. Everyone knows. You can see it a mile away. You know who's going to fight who. It's not a surprise. You see the bottom of the page. And it's saying, the events are saying, oh, the battle between the, one, the former first guild and the newer first guild of Fury. And you see the sandals. You know it's not Sue. Natsu and Gajil versus Sting and Rogue. What I liked about this chapter, though, the bottom of this page. The bottom of this page, you see, and it says, Furthermore, all four of them are dragon slayers. They all use this magic that was made to kill dragons. Bottom left-hand corner of this page, you see Gemma and Now, I don't want to say this, but I think it's a goddamn shame we're not going to see those two fight. I'm just putting it out there. Gemma Makarov. I really would have been interested to see them fight. Because I think that if Makarov fought Gemma, I think that would go down in the books. Just bring it out there. Okay, moving right along. They're going face down. And it was just I've been waiting for this. Yeah, why don't you show us something, dumbass? Huh? I'm judging you. That's right. I'm putting it on Sting now. You better show me something good, motherfucker. You better. He doesn't show me something good. I'm gonna call him a troll. <laughs> but anyway, moving right along. 
the mid say that. Okay, so we, we say waiting for this kind of attention. Didn't really see the tension so much in this in this encounter. But then again, the fight hasn't started yet, so we'll wait and see. Then we get the epicness at the bottom of the page. We see volcanoes. We see fire and lava going over the place, and it says, we "See some dragon." Already, this chapter is just like, once you see that, you're sold. You can forgive the beginning fight of Uchiha san and the stupid cat. After you see that shit. And he says, Vice Logia, Skyadrum, the dragon slayers that you've created, let's see what they're made of. Can humans exceed dragons, or is it just an empty dream? By the way, the dragons he mentioned, I think he's talking about the dragons. Uh, that trained, um, Sting and Rogue. I believe that's what he's saying. And we know, we see the reveal of who the dragon is. It's Ig that's Igdeal. And it's epic. It's so epic. He's just showing up. It was like, wow. It's like. And it says, it's time for us to take action. It's drawing close. The Dragon King Festival will soon be upon us. And we just see Igneo, and I love this spread, because you got Igneo on the right, and Natsu on the left. So, um, you get a dragon there, everything's right as rain. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to give this a 4 out of 5, even with Igneo. And then, of course, that, oh, I forgot to mention, at the very end, it says, finally for the time, finally for the time for their confrontation, protect your pride and bond with your fists. Who will win? The fairy or the tiger? Four dragons have been released onto the battlefield. And we see that the next chapter is going to be called Battle of Dragon Slayers. Now. Giving us a three and a half out of five. No more chia -san. Okay, that was the biggest... No, that fight was... I just... Oh, God. <laughs> so stupid. It was so stupid! I go like this. That fight was worse than the than 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 Jura than than the than, than what happened with Mystican against Jura. That fight was worse than any of the fights in this tournament. That was the worst fight in this tournament. The worst. But it's over. We saw Igneo, so we move on. I give it a three and a half out of five. What are your guys' thoughts? I, I just I'm just saying that that thing just just pissed me off. I just like this. Holy shit, that was so stupid. I do like that because it was just so goddamn fucking stupid. Stop it. Um, I think I want to I want to bring before. I don't want to say too much about... Next week's office is going to be epic. Everyone knows it's going to be huge. Uh, Gajil, Natsu going up against Sting and Rogue. You know, pff, fucking crazy shit. I'm wondering day five, though. That's what's on my mind. As we know, there are two members of Fairy Tale of this team right now that haven't fought. Grey and Urza. Now, I'm wondering... Who's going to fight? Because as we know, I mean, it's not a surprise. We pretty much get you pretty much can know to yourselves to know that you know Urza. If she fights, she's going to fight. Um, rather, I narrow it down to three people: Kagura, Miliana, or Minerva. My money's on Mermaid Heel. I think, yeah, I, I honestly think that day five we're going to see Urza go up against one of those two. I'm, and I don't want to spoil anything, but I just got a feeling Urza is going to fight Kanagura. I don't know why. I got this feeling, even though she fought now, today. But maybe, you know, we'll, we'll see. I mean, maybe, maybe we're wrong. Greg goes up against Rufus. Rufus. You know, so uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Oh, God. Thumbs up if you think that was the worst troll fight 
in the world in the beginning of this chapter. So that's what I'm telling people. Thumbs up this video if you think the first fight during this chapter was the troll fight. It was the worst troll fight. It was just... I just... Alright, that's all I got for you guys, like I said. Chia-san, please. You need, to, you need to, like... You can't fight anymore. I'm sorry. You, you just... Hero, what are you doing? Well, well, why have that fight? Well, what's... Well, it's not him! Not Chia-san acting stupid and... I digress. Like I said, it's over with. We saw a deal. I'm happy. Three and a half out of five. What do you guys think? This has been Bonkai 922. Dragon Slayer's next week, man. This is this is this is gonna be good. And Sting! Yeah, you better back up your words, boy. Yeah, I'm putting on the gauntlet on him. If he he better bring show me something good. I'm telling you guys right now, I I, I don't like Sting. But if he fights and is shown that he's powerful, then then he can do what he wants. Okay, he can do what the fuck he wants. If he hurts Natsu to a point and even wins or Natsu wins and he beats up Natsu to a point, then I'll say, okay, I give you props. I'll take the jackass disclaimer off your name. But yeah, that's all I got left for you. It's Bonka Nine Twenty Two. I'll see you guys later. Oh. That sword thing that I've been doing in my bleach reviews, not to get off topic too much, uh, it's going to continue. Yeah. Just like you guys know. Uh, that, and I will probably do the anime, not to get off topic. Anime versus. That might be decided by Sunday or Monday. No video on it. Okay? See you guys later.